It's the moment that you've been waiting for. We're going to Universal's Volcano Bay. Uh, I feel like I'm cheating on Disney. Uh -huh. Let's do it. to Volcano Bay at Universal Studios. <laughs> Which I could say I was super excited, but I'm, I'm nervous, you know, leaving the bubble, but I'm excited to go with it. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be great. I'm sure it'll be great. Looking forward to checking out new things. Let's see how it goes. On our way right now, Mike, I want to get your initial thoughts. How are you feeling? What are you thinking? Talk me through. Believe it or not, I can already see the tip of the volcano right ahead of us oh, there. And it's, it's, um, it's a mixed feeling. It's a mixed feeling. I'll be honest with you. Part of me is super excited to experience a new place. The other part of me feels like I'm cheating on Disney. But that's not that's not how it has to be. It is it is just about experiencing something new in the area in which we live. And I think that's a good thing. You know, expanding your horizons, seeing new things, experiencing more fun. This is not a replacement for Disney. It's experiencing more fun in the area. What do you think? Yeah, I'm definitely. I'm excited to try it. You're right. You know, it's different. It's not a replacement. And we're st definitely still going to be going to Disney all the time. Oh, it's more and more and more and more and more. Exactly. But I think it's nice to be able to try something new, to get a feel for it, see what we think, be able to share some of that with you, be able to compare the two a little bit better. And, you know, we've heard such great things about this water park. We got to check it out. We do. Let's do it. There it is. Universal Orlando. Okay, it's, it's exciting. It's exciting. But same time, a little bit nervous. Volcano Bay parking. Okay, left. All right, we're going left. Volcano Bay. Here we go. Mike, we are now officially on Universal Property, just past City Walk. How are you feeling right now? Good, good. You know, this is just a new experience. That's all it is. We're here for a new experience. It's going to be fun, but it's a little nerve-wracking for me. I don't know why. It should not be nerve-wracking. It's weird. It should yeah. not be. There's no reason for that. No justification at all. Yeah. Just that I'm a very big Disney enthusiast going to... Just a different park. I think that's a good thing. Just another park. You'll get to try new things, get to see it all. You'll be able to speak to that much more. Yep. So nothing nothing to worry about. Nope. It'll be great. Mm -hmm. I know I, for one, am super excited to check out Volcano Bay. I've heard such good things. Really looking forward to all of it. All right, we are at Cat in the Hat 158 here, all parked and ready to go. We had a chance to look in the ticketing area as we're entering the parking lots right across from us now. It's definitely a different feeling. You know, it's it's darker under here. I feel like it's not as, as bright feeling. Again, just because the ticketing's in the garage right. here. And there's definitely lots of crowds over there, so we'll check it out, see what that looks like. How are you feeling so far, Mike? I'm okay, I'm okay, we're gonna make it. Okay. We're gonna do this together, it's gonna be great. Okay, let's check it out. Oh my gosh. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready. He's not ready, folks. He is not ready. Let's do it. Yeah. We are here on the bus to Volcano Bay. It's a larger bus, it much is. larger than Disney buses. I like the colors, the theming. It looks like a new bus. How are you feeling so far? I feel good. I feel good. Yeah. Um, we're going to have a great time. That's all it's about. It's about having a good time. I'm not fretting anymore. It's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure it'll be fantastic. And we are entering oh, wow. the dungeons. Take a look in here. There are shells We are in the dungeons. And we are here at the entrance of Volcano Bay. Let's see how it goes. You ready for it? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm sure it'll be great. Really, really nice feel, design, nice music as you're walking in. Love the trees and the nature around. It, it does. You feel removed. You feel removed. It's, it's, you know, there's a lot less removed feeling than Disney in that. You can see a lot of the hotels and that sort of thing around. But here at the park, you know, walking up to this entrance, look at this entrance. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic. Really, really nice signs up there. Volcano Bay. Really, really nice look to it. Volcano Bay. I think we know we've made it now. Another detail I hadn't noticed with the Volcano Bay theme here, look at the water. They're all different color water streams, you know, and they're all constantly changing colors. 
But uh, oh, maybe they're yeah, no, they're they're inverse and then they're the same. It's it's interesting, you know. It's like they switch off every two, if you will. So really, really cool. And we are in line over here. Check out this awesome theming behind that ticket counter. Absolutely beautiful. Continues that same sort of Hawaiian Fiji feeling you might get, maybe from Madagascar or something along those lines. Really, really cool stuff. All right, we're here and we've got our Tapu Tapu right here. These watch looking things to wait in lines and be able to order food and all that kind of thing. It tells you your wait time. It doesn't tell you the time, although it looks like a watch. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Looking forward to checking out the park and uh, yeah, should be great. Let's, let's see how things go. Oh, here's a little sign that tells us about the Tapu Tapu. Maybe we'll check that out. Wear it, securely fastened, use it and return it. There you go. At the end of the day, you return Tapu Tapu, so not quite like a magic band, but instead, this is a returnable wearable. Instead, this is a returnable wearable that we will return at the end of the day. So, good to know. Okay, everybody. Now look at this volcano up here. Oh my gosh, that looks intense. Super epic looking volcano. Looking forward to checking it all out, seeing what it's all about up there. Really, really nice shot from here for sure. And look at all this theme stuff. I love it. I missed it, but this guy was just talking. He told me to put on some sunscreen. I don't know how he knew I wasn't wearing sunscreen, but uh, seems like a pretty insightful tiki right here. Let's see if he says anything else. I like it. Here we go for those first steps onto the beach. It sounds like there's some music playing. It's got a pretty cool look to it, you know. Definitely, uh, definitely liking how it looks. What do you think so far, Mike? Very impressive. Yeah, really, uh, really got a nice feel to it, you know. I definitely don't feel like, uh, I definitely don't feel like it's as dark as that garage was when we walked in. You know, it's a nice feeling being inside. The theming's awesome. Music's great. All the interactivity's great. So we'll see how it goes. Check out this wave pool right here. I imagine that's what we're looking at. It is pretty crowded here today. Surprisingly crowded, but. Looks super, super awesome. Looking forward to checking it all out. Again, loving that theming. Seems like, uh, seems like a nice park. We'll, we'll see how it goes. One of our first finds here, the photo area, right where this circular sort of hut is, you know, cylindrical hut. And now we're gonna go see if we can't find a slide, check out some seating. You know, there's so much to see, you know? It's such a big area but uh, I'm sure we're gonna have a great time checking it all out. And we found the sign indicating wait times here. So looking at wait times for all the different rides, a lot of enjoy any times here, which is great. A good couple minutes for wait times though. Trap door speed slide at 70 minutes here. Everything else on this page, enjoy any time, so that's great. Krakatoa, we're looking at 105 minute. It looks like it's the longest wait. A couple wall slides, 55 minutes, 25 minutes there. So there's some that are definitely shorter than others. Winding River, you know, we gotta try the lazy river here, see how that compares. Uh, another, oh look, even 15 minute with some trapdoor speed slides on there. Interesting. Teardrop, raft ride, so, so many good options here. Mike, what are you thinking? Krakatoa sounds amazing. All right, let's give it a shot. So many to be excited for. Let's give it a shot. A friendly team member just gave us some great information. They're seating all around the park. There's some covered seating on the back side of the park. Anything that says enjoy any time, just walk on that, ready to go. Tap your bands on whatever attraction you want to prioritize. And I think if it said ride anytime or ride now or something like that, it means you can just go ahead and get on that as well. Right. So you can only be in line for one ride at a time, but there's a lot of enjoy any time attractions, kind of like the wave pool. I think it's a really interesting idea to not have to actually stand in line for those 105 minute wait rides yeah. or that sort of thing. That's that's something I'm, I'm excited to see how it plays out. Yeah. What are you thinking? Absolutely. So it's not really a standby. It's more of a just, you know, go tap your band and then enjoy the regular thing. Right. They're not crowded. And, or I guess no, don't require a line. Right. So it's a different way to do it, but super cool. Yeah. It's like instead of a standby, it's a tap by. Yeah. Tap on there. Enjoy everything else while you're waiting. I, I, I think that sounds like a really exciting idea. It, does. it means you can lazy river all day and get on some of those rides. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. You got to watch out here. We're going into gator territory, it looks like. You got gators facing both way on these bridges. Underneath here, we've got our lazy river. That looks like fun too. Looking forward to checking that out. There's so much to see here, you know, so much to check out and do. And we heard about all these different slides and the wait times for them and that sort of thing. So looking forward to seeing all of it here. 
real soon. Lots of snack venues around as well. You can see they're restocking some of those rafts up that way. Lots of cool stuff to see and do. Here's the end of one of those slides. Oh my gosh, look at that big blue tubular slide right there. We'll have to check that one out. Yeah, there's five person rafts right here. That's crazy. So they've got like two person rafts. Maybe this is only five person rafts for that ride. So we'll check it out. All right, we are here at Krakatoa. We heard this was one of the most popular rides at the park here, Volcano Bay. It's a 120 minute wait, 110 minute wait for us here today. So we're gonna virtually get in line for that if you will. And then we'll be off to enjoy some lazy river or something nice like that. So again, love that idea of, of riding virtually, getting in line virtually. So unfortunately, it looks like the ride is closed, at least for signing up to get in line right now. I think they said it was a lifeguard, had said it was closed for some reason. Maybe they're having some issue. So we'll have to keep our eyes open, maybe see if we can come back, or maybe we'll just try something else, you know? See how things go. But it'll be a cool one to check out one of these days for sure. If you take a look at the sign here, I noticed the first ride now. So here it says, attractions that say ride now, but you ride without losing an existing wait time. And as they transition here to the next slide, which has some wait times. I saw a couple with Ride Now. It seems like the sign has actually stopped up. Right here we go. Some Ride Nows are listed right there. So you see there's a couple slides here. A couple, yeah, blue and green tube slides, as well as these serpentine mat slides are all Ride Now, as well as a couple Enjoy Any Times. So maybe we'll try some of those. We'll have to, we'll have to figure it out. What do you think, Mike? That sounds good. Let's do it. We found out here today that we can't bring our GoPros or waterproof cameras on any of the rides. So that's kind of tricky. I think we're good to bring the GoPros and the waterproof cameras on the Lazy River and that sort of thing. None of the slides we can bring them on. So it might just be a Lazy River kind of day here for our first day in Volcano Bay. We shall see. But we're going to put our stuff down. I think we found a couple chairs here right by the Lazy River. And let's take a look around, see if we're going to do the Lazy River or what else sounds good. And I'm sure it'll be a great day. I've first experience here in the Lazy River at Volcano Bay. Thank you. Let's see. Mike's going for it. I'm gonna get on the raft here. Go, Mike. Go. He's going. He's going. Oh gosh. He got soaked, but he made it. Uh, nicely done. Nicely done. We are here in the Lazy River at Volcano Bay. Absolutely loving it. The tubes are really nice. Nice quality tubes. You know, reflecting on the quality of the tubes here. But uh, it's a nice flow to it. It's quite crowded today. Again, I know we knew that coming in today, but it is a very crowded day, you know, still summertime. So something to keep in mind is the crowds. But besides that, it's a, a fantastic experience. Loving the Lazy River so far. Oh my gosh, get rained on. Get rained on. And looking forward to seeing all that there is to it here coming up real soon. So and getting a little bit rain on. Oh, by those sprinklers. By those sprinklers. Uh, okay. It's a fun time. I'm enjoying it, definitely. And there's a beautiful uh, sort of setup here around us. You know, the grass around us, and just sort of the nature, the music, the tiki-themed uh, backdrops over there. So if you look at right behind me, right about now, you should be able to see the walkway that's tiki-themed. A, a lot of cool stuff to uh, check out. Hey, we're getting rain on one more. Oh, a little chilly. And Mike has caught up to us. Yes, we're getting squirted. Are these tiki's over here? Hey, Mike. Hey there. What are you thinking so far? It's really nice. You know, I like the, the water. The temperature's good. Yeah. Great day for it. Uh, it moves much faster than typing in a Blizzard Beach. Yeah. That's for sure. Now we're heading Definitely. to the cave. Here we go into the cave. And look at the look at this playground up here, you know. Awesome, awesome setup, design. A lot of colors in here. A really good spot. It's a little, again, a little crowded here. And I'm now in a jet stream. So we're about to get pushed forward. Oh my gosh, we're going into the volcano here, folks. So if you look at this right here on our right, a little bit of orange play equipment. A little bit of orange play equipment right here. I like that kid's play set. They can squirt us from up there. I'm about to get squirted, actually. Oh my gosh. This dude is squirting me. Dude's trying to squirt me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Get squirted. Get squirted here. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. We are in the volcano. In the volcano here. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, look at the lighting under here. Absolutely fantastic. It's a little bit louder just because the echoes in the chamber, you know. A little bit louder in the echo chamber. But uh, really, really nice. Gotta love this lighting in here. You know, you can see all around. Sort of glows in the dark in here. This is awesome. I'm glad the whole here. I'm losing Mike. I'm losing Mike. He's right back there. Oh my gosh. That's, uh, 
no chance to avoid us sprinkling our lips on here, folks. We're going in. We're going through. Exiting the Lazy River now, and that cycle was actually, I felt like it felt shorter than I expected, you know? I didn't realize we'd made a full loop, but it's kind of crazy to think that uh, made a run in that short period of time. I'm gonna try something else here, see if maybe we can uh, go on some slides, switch off to the cameras, or leave the cameras behind, we'll figure that one out. But let's let's see what else there is to experience, you know? Maybe we'll just walk around and, and see what's out here. But uh, either way, it's, it's a fun journey so far, and looking forward to the rest of this fun journey here with you. And I'm just appreciating more of the theming as we're walking here. Really, really nicely themed place. I think that the, the vibe goes quite well. Mike, I'm curious to hear what you think of the theming, what you think of the attraction, the park so far. Very impressed, very impressed. Yeah. You, you do have that, that great feeling. Like they really did a fantastic job with it. But they, they bring in the volcano and that kind of Hawaiian Polynesian style vibe to it. Very nice. Definitely. David's gonna go and choose blue ride now. You get it? I'm not sure I actually have to tap it. I think I just Okay. Ride now. Blue slides. I'm gonna hold on to everything. David, let me know how it is and then we'll switch off. It's gonna be fun. See you at the end. Alright, see you then. We're not sure how the ride now works. Oh, there he goes. Bye Dave. Bye. Here's the hard part. Which slide has David come out on? I have no clue. We'll just uh, keep an eye out for him. I have found the spot to wait for David. Hard to know where he'll be. Oh, there he is right there, yeah! Very nice, that's what I'm talking about. David, nice run! Oh yeah, gotta try it. Really? Yeah, it was It was fun? That was a great one. Okay. You run around, the spinning around at the bottom, right near the bottom, where you spin around in circles like that, yeah. behind these trees, that yep. was super fun. It's like, almost like G-Force is coming at you, but oh. a good level. Of oh! All right. It's a nice long slide too. Nice long one. It feels uh, like a good amount of time in there. Okay, good stuff. I'm gonna have to try it. Give it a shot. And Mike is off to try that green slide. Go, Mike, go. Go, Mike, go. Go, Mike, go. So we figured out with these slides, when you get up to the top, it's kind of a, they'll put you on whichever side of the slides. Yeah, there's Mike. They'll put you on whichever side of the slides that uh, that lines up. So both of those green ones could be the one he comes down. I think he's planning to come down this one on the right. So we'll come around there and get ready for him, set up shop over on this side. But uh, yeah, technically there's two blue slides and two green slides, which I'm sure makes the uh, thing move faster, but uh, also makes it a little harder to plan out which slide he's coming down to the bottom. So I'm gonna keep my eyes on it down here and we shall see how things play out. You know, what I hadn't noticed here is look how this tiki is dressed up at the bottom of this set of slides. On that side, it's a regular looking tiki, but he's got a tube and board shorts. This tiki has hair, the starfish, the luau skirt. That's pretty funny. Real quick here, that line moved faster than I thought it would. You know, I figured it would be a little bit more slow moving. I thought it would be maybe 30 minutes that it would take him to go from top to bottom. It seems like it's been maybe only 20, maybe not even that. Never be too ready. There he is! Woohoohoo! All right. Oh, that was a really good slide. You know, it's nice. Oh, I like the longer slides. You, know, you have more time on it. I see what you mean about that last turn. Definitely a fun one. That was great. We had a great time on those water slides. Really cool to check them both out. Glad we had the chance to do just that. And now we're off to see if we can catch some of the rapids, the tubes, something along those lines. Over here, Te Awa, it looks like. Maybe Hammerhead Beach. I'm not really sure. We're gonna check something else out. Make sure we get to see as much as we can here today. All right, I found out where Mike took me here. Here at the Fearless River. Fearless. So, gotta wear a life jacket at this river. Well, I'm super excited to see what it's all about. We've been seeing people do it and we're we're trying to figure out what it's all about yep so we shall see how the fearless river treats us here today not gonna be afraid not gonna be afraid of the fearless river let's do it here we go fearless river fearless. i'm feeling fearless oh my gosh this is this is fast oh my gosh yeah i, I can see why you do the best for this oh one. yeah oh yeah this is pretty cool this is awesome this is a great one I love it. It's hustling. It's hustling and bustling in here. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. You good? There we go. 
All right. Stand up a little bit. Is that is that the oh. go-to strategy? Oh god! Oh, god. oh. oh, oh god. interference! Oh, god. Interference! Look at this view! Oh my gosh! Look at this tiki right here. Yeah, especially this bridge. Oh my gosh! We get a little bit soaked here. Check out those slides up ahead. Some slides up here. Oh yeah. Get a little bit rained on. A little bit rained on. Uh, going in. Volcano time here, folks. Volcano time it is. Oh yes. Running. Running through the water. I'm running. Alright. Oh my gosh. Ah, the waves. The waves on my face. Oh, this is awesome. I love this idea. I love this idea. the rest of this trip but uh yeah we're out of luck here but that's all right i'll i'll make it without them could be worse could be worse okay thank you thank you we got him yes yes thank you thank you appreciate that all right perfect oh lucked out on that one you got really lucky so glad somebody found those sunglasses again let's do it again I'm holding on to my sunglasses this time. Hold on to those sunglasses. You got lucky with I the did I almost feel like I'm just going to hold them. I feel like I'm just going to hold them just for the ride. Because I don't want to lose them again. Oh, that's so lucky. So lucky that someone found these sunglasses. Unbelievably lucky. Oh, I thought they were gone. thought I was a goner for the rest of this park day with no sunglasses. Yeah. I was, uh, sure, I was sure they were gone. Me too. I got mine in my hand now. Oh, yeah. You got to hold on to these things because... You get pulled by the rapids. Hold on to your mics. Hold on to your mics. So you don't lose them oh, yeah. on the ride. So hold on to those. There's an over here, David. Look. There's an exit. Oh! Oh, gosh. Hit the waves here. Hit the waves. Hitting the wall. Here we go. I'm in the wall. Against the wall and the waves. Really moving on this wall, though. Like, really moving. Oh, this is a hustling bustling here. Oh! I just watched that wave come out right here. Look at that wave right there. This is where they dump the wave in. We're having a great time here. Having a great time here. Okay, no bay. Fearless River. You want something intense? Try something fun. Try something new. You gotta try that. Uh, gotta try that. Fearless River. For sure. I'm running along. Oh, this fearless river. Oh gosh. Here we go. We're back in. We're back in. We are back in. Oh my gosh. Waves, waves, waves. This is the wave. Waves of volcano wave. Oh gosh. Real waves here, folks. Real waves. Watch out for that too. Breathe before the wave. That's so much fun. That is so much fun. Absolutely love it. We're two rounds in so far. We're about to exit the second, the first exit this time. Mike, what do you think so far? Amazing. Fantastic. You want to exit the second one? We're going to try it. Second exit, or first exit, or whatever it's called. The, the less the intense other. exit. Right, less intense exit. Let's do it. This ride, this is an awesome one. It's definitely one of the ones to check out here. Of the ones we've done, this might even be my favorite. This might even be my favorite thus far. Here at Volcano Bay, definitely check out this fearless river. Not the lazy river, this is the fearless river. If you're looking for some intensity. I love them both. You know, it depends on what you're in the mood for. But uh, fearless river. Awesome time. About to get rained on. Ah, ah. Okay. Okay, okay. I see what's happening here. Couple fills over. Wow, my legs feel like wobbling. You know, it's like a different feeling to be standing up now. It's heavier. My feet feel heavier here. It's crazy. Let me take this off so somebody else can use it. Just kind of handing off the uh, life vest there, that larger life vest. I guess maybe it's so that people can enter on the second entrance here or uh, maybe because they're out up front but 
that was a really awesome ride. My feet are super wobbly, you know. Feels like uh, I have to relearn how to stand here, use the handbars to help me walk. But I love that, it was awesome. Oh yeah, it looks like, if you look here, it looks like they're all out of those life vests right now. So that's why people are waiting for them. Great, great stuff. Loved it, loved it. It is even more crowded in the Lazy River than it was before. Yeah. So we are walking through the Lazy River, crouching, if you will, crawling through the Lazy River, and see if we see a tube along the way. You know? It's a, uh, it's a little tricky to keep getting run into by people on tubes when you're like crawling through the water. So I think we might be calling it here with the Lazy River, just because the crowds. But uh, it is fun. It's it fun, fun adventure for sure. Every day at Volcano Bay here at Universal Studios. I thought it was a great time. I had a lot of fun. Really enjoyed all the rides we went on. Mike, I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, first impressions, how are you feeling now as opposed to how you felt earlier about Volcano Bay? I feel good about it. You know, it's, it's a really nice park. It's a theme park. Very big thing for me to say it's a theme park because I don't consider Disney a theme park. It's a whole world. So I enjoyed it. I will come back again as a theme park. That's how much I had fun. And it won't be the highest priority because here I got Disney. But uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'll definitely be back. What do you think? Yeah, it was a great time. Love to see all the new attractions. There's a lot of things that we haven't had the chance to do before. Like yeah. that Fearless River for me that was, awesome. was definitely a highlight. Yeah. That one is, is probably one of the top ones for me. But all of them were great. Those slides were awesome. This lazy river, less, not so lazy river maybe, where it moves a little bit faster was awesome. It was all just a bunch of awesome stuff. So and you can tell it's been built more recently. That's like a thing. You can tell it's a lot of these are a lot more recent yeah. builds, but it's it's good to see. Yeah, definitely, definitely had a great time here. I'm looking forward to checking more of it out again. Hopefully, hopefully, real soon. We'll see y'all soon. And Mike was nice enough to let me use his GoPro here while he's testing out a new action camera. I did get a cheaper waterproof camera for myself, but it doesn't really do too well with audio, especially once it's in the case where it's waterproof. So glad I was able to share it today with you and we shall see what other days will look like. But this has been great for me to be able to use. Let us know what you think, how it's been. Thanks for being a part of it with us. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's All good, right. your turn, your Nice turn. job. Mike soaked the people and now it's my turn. Wait for this guy. Ready, Let's try that. Take some of that, huh? Take some of that, take it, take some of that. Yeah, enjoy that. Make it seem slow, make it seem like it's off. Oh my gosh, it's still going. Enjoy this lady, all yours. How about you kid? Take some. Oh. Thanks so much for being a part of today's adventure with us everyone. Hope you've enjoyed it. I know a lot of people asked about coming to Universal Studios and Volcano Bay. So glad we can share it with you today. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And if you have not already, hit that subscribe button and rang that bell for more fun, family-friendly times. Go ahead and do that and we'll keep you informed of all the fun stuff that comes in the future. Until next time. Have a magical day. And game on. See you soon.